here is a quick video on how to extend pant legs in Photoshop in your pictures. First, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a second background layer. I'm going to do that by clicking on the first layer and dragging it into this little square button right there. Now that I have that, I'm going to zoom in on the area that I want fixed. I'm going to go and choose my lasso tool and I'm going to make my selection. I'm going to make sure that I have enough space room right here to work with all around the selected area. I'm going to go into edit, click on transform and go and click on warp. And I'm going to slowly start dragging it way out this way. Kind of want it nice and long because I want to make sure that it covers. I, I want for this one, I want to make sure that it covers all of his leg. I think that should do it. I'm going to click check. And I'm going to, before I do anything else, I need to deselect my selection. You can do that by pressing Command D if you're using a Mac or Control D if you're using your PC. Then I'm going to go and click on my mask tool down here at the bottom. Click that. Now that this is, if this is in white, then I want to make sure that this one right here is in black. I'm going to do that by pressing X. And then I'm going to click B to get my brush tool. I'm going to make sure that my opacity is at 100. And I am going to zoom in on his area. I'm going to press B again. And I am going to start brushing out the area that I want to be shown. Here we go. Zoom in a little more and get my brush to look really small so I can really, oops, press X to change if you want to reverse some of the areas that you did. Nice. Gonna brush this around his shoelaces like this. I'm going to zoom out to see how that looks. And wow, that looks really good to me. So here is what it looked like before. And here's what it looks like now. Now, I'm going to fix this leg over here as well. I'm going to do that by merging the layers together into one without erasing any of my previous work. You can do that uh, by using a shortcut on your Mac. It's Command Option Shift E. And on your PC, it is one second. I'm so used to using my Mac. It's Control Alt Shift E on your PC. What it does is that it will merge these layers together, but if you want to go back to your work, you can do that as well. It doesn't erase all of it. So now that I have that, I'm going to zoom in again. I'm going to go to my lasso tool. And I'm going to make a nice selection over here of the area. Again, I'm going to go to edit, transform, and click on warp. I'm going to extend it pretty much the same way as I did before. Where is it? Right there. Just want to make sure that it matches the area. That looks good. I'm going to press check. I'm going to make a deselection by pressing Command D on Mac, Control D on PC. Then I'm going to go and use click on my mask tool over here. So this is in white. Then I want to make sure this one is in black by pressing X. I'm going to zoom in even further. Click B to get a shortcut for brush tool. Make sure opacity is in 100. 
and I am going to start brushing it out little by little make the brush tool small as I get closer to edges to make sure I don't brush out important parts oh like I did right there here I want to get that back if you need to reverse some of the brushing out you can just press X to get back and forth within your layers here we go And then you can make it bigger as you get further away from the edges. That looks good. Gonna make sure to get this area really good. I'm going to bring back some of that around the shoe. Right there, I want to make sure that the shadowing is right. Looks like here I'm just going to keep the rock that way. Otherwise it starts bringing the fold out of his pant leg. I'm going to zoom out and this is what his second leg looks like. That's what it looked like before and that's what it looks like now. I'm going to zoom in a little more and I can see a little hair sticking out from his original leg and that doesn't look good. What I'm going to do, I'm going to merge my layers together again by pressing Command Option Shift E if you're using a Mac or when will I remember this? Control Alt Shift E if you're using your PC. Now that I have my background layers merged together, I'm going to go into here and I'm going to choose the Spot Healing Brush Tool. And I am just going to really fast go over. It does not have to be perfect in this area. It kind of blends it in together really nicely. There we go. That looks good all done.